This is section 321. We're going to take a look at logarithms. So we're going to examine what the inverse of an exponential function is. So far, we've been able to find the inverses of linear, of quadratic functions, right? We just switch the x and y, and then we can get the y by itself. And we can do that for all the different types of functions, rational, etc. But we haven't looked at exponential. So let's examine that. So here's an ex exponential function, f of x equals 2 to the x power. So if I replace the f of x with y, I get y equals 2 to the x. Now remember, the first step is we switch the x and y. But now, it's kind of weird. It's like, wait a minute, how do I get y by itself? So we don't really have the language to get y by itself. So essentially, what y is... It's the power to which I raise 2, and it's going to give me x. So y is what I raise 2 to then get me x. And then I can replace it with my inverse notation. And the inverse is the power to which we raise 2 to get x. That is the inverse of this statement here. And that's kind of weird. Now, instead of saying that statement over and over and over again, the power to which we raise 2 to get x, the power to which we raise 2 to get x, we use the phrase log. So instead of the power with which we raise 2 to get x, we say log base 2 of x. Log base 2 of x. Basically, logs and exponents are inverses of each other. So a log is the phrase we use to state the inverse. So for example, if I wanted to continue with this logic, right? If I know that my function is 2 to the x, then therefore my inverse is log base 2 of x. If I wanted to find log base 2 of 8, well, that's going to be 3, because 3 is the power that I raise 2 to give me 8. If I wanted to think of it in terms of 3, right, base 3, so log base 3 of x. What power do I need to raise 3 to get me 27? That's going to be 3. 3 is the power to which I raise 3 to then get me 27. So again, to emphasize, the inverse of the function a to the x is going to be log base a of x. Whatever this base is, it's the same base for our log. So when we evaluate logs, it's a good idea to kind of think about how we manipulate that statement, right? Because if I'm trying to find what power I need to raise it to, well, we can do a little bit of math to be able to do that. So for example, this statement is, what power do I need to raise 10 to give me 10,000? Okay, so that tells me I need to rewrite 10,000 in terms of 10 to some exponent. And in this case, it's going to be 10 to the fourth. Now, that log base 10 and that 10, those are going to cancel out. And so it's going to be 4. So 4 is what I need to raise 10 to get me 10,000. If I have log base 10 of 0 0.01, so what power do I need to raise 10 to get me 0 0.01? So I'm going to rewrite that as 1 over 100, which is 1 over 10 squared. And then when we can move the exponent up, it becomes a negative exponent. And so the log base 10 and the 10 cancel out, and I get negative 2. Same idea here, log base 3 of 27. What power do I need to raise 3 to get me 27. So I can rewrite the 27 as 3 to the third. The log base 3 and the 3 cancel out, and I'm left with 3. Now, it gets a little bit tricky here, right? Okay, because it's like, wait a minute, what power do I need to raise 9 to get me 3? Right? What power do I need to raise 9 to get me 3? Now, this is going to be something we're going to look at a little bit later, but we can actually convert it into an exponent. A square root is a type of exponent. And so I can think of that as 9 to the 1 half power, which is the same as the square root of 9. And so then 
Those cancel out, and I'm left with one half. Log base six of one. What power do I need to raise six to get me one? Well, one is the same as six to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is one. And so now the log base six and the six cancel out, and so we're left with zero. So zero is what I need to raise six to get me one. And then what power do I need to raise four to get me four? That's going to be one. And so those cancel out. So just as a note to remember, log base anything of one equals zero. And then if the numbers match, it's always going to simplify to one. So let's evaluate this. Log base four of 64. So this is going to be, it's like what power do I need to raise four to get me 64? So I need to think 64 is four to some exponent. Okay, so four times four is 16, times four is 64. So I can replace that with three. So log base four of four to the third, the log base four and the four cancel out, and I'm left with three. Same thing here with 81. Log base 3 and 81, 3 to what power? So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So that's going to be log base 3 of 3 to the 4th. Then those are going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with 4. So what did we learn to pick? We learned about logs. We introduced the inverse of an exponent, and that's what a log is. So what is a log? The log is an inverse of an exponential equation, and if I have this statement, it's what power do I need to raise a to get me this number here? So what power do I need to raise a to get me x? That's what a log means. And the, a strategy for us to evaluate logs is to try and make these numbers the same. So I could rewrite 16 as 4 squared. Those end up canceling out, and I'm left with two. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.